Happy 5th of July, everybody. Hope your 4th of July was a wonderful one. And if you're listening to this, I hope you didn't blow off too many appendages um, <laughs> or burn your house down. Uh, this week, we start our two-part Encore history of Knott's Berry Farm, a.k.a. This time of the year that we're into, not scary farm. Um, and this one, I'm super excited to talk to these two about because if there is an advocate for Knott's Berry Farm, <laughs> it is John and Ashley Scott without freaking question. <laughs> Every year, these guys go, John. Um, loves the this is the sliding team that you like, right? Or is that Queen Mary? Um, there's so some, two. Yeah, there's so there's two. Decay Brigade, and they are consist consisted of sliders from Queen Mary, Knots, and a few other independent haunts. Mm-hmm. But they basically originated the crew originated because of Not Scary Farm. Um, and. These guys, they always take a week vacation um, touring all the Southern California haunted attractions. And while some years they may not do uh, one thing or another, Knott's is the one that they always uh, do. So that's why, like Ashley did the history for... Uh, HHN last year I'm going to do it this year just to soak in these two's reaction Mm -hmm. so it was originally a three night affair the 26th to the 28th in 1973 like 1973 holy shit they started what's even crazier is actually the idea got brought up pre-72 hmm but because it, they brought it to them at like the end of summer, they're like, there's no way in hell that's happening. So <laughs> we have to plan for next year. So that's why it ended up happening in 73. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm looking at right now. Yeah. Um, so from that in 73 to a six week long event for its 47th year in 2019. Now you know mm-hmm. why we're breaking this up into two different episodes. <laughs> Um, it has become the largest event of any theme park. The concept was introduced in the Parks Operations Committee in 73 by George Condos and Martha Boyd of the Marketing Department. Um, Bill Hollingshead and Gary Salisbury of the Entertainment Office. Um, Bud Hol- Hurl- <laughs> Butt, yeah. who Hurl- built Hurl- and Hurl- operated... Um, the mm-hmm. mine log ride mm-hmm. and other rides decided of having static props wasn't enough, so he put on a gorilla suit and scared guests as they rode the mine ride. So in '73, everything is in its infancy. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, knots had been around for a little while at that point. Uh, they were open, you know, going on almost 30 years actually at that point because yeah. they predated Disneyland. But like even 1920s then, twenties when the farm actually started to. But can you imagine along. going on like a, a flume ride or a dark ride, and then someone's dressed up in a suit? It scares the shit it's out. It's terrifying when they do that. Um, so it was an instant hit, and it sold out nightly. Knotts was. Um, it was actually originally modeled after Calico, California, which is a ghost town during the Silver Rush. And that's why if you go to Not Scary Farm, one of their scare zones that's always there mm-hmm. is Ghost Town. Ghost Town. Um, which if you imagine Frontierland at Disneyland and like quadruple it, that is yeah. the Ghost Town 
And um, then you just completely fog it out. Yeah. yeah. I said fantasy land, frontier land, whatever. It's <laughs> it is a huge chunk of their property is this ghost town area. Okay. Um and yeah, it's like a it is like a weird uh wacky ghost town for the haunted house event. Um They've had numerous entertainers come, like Weird Al. Elvira was there for... God, she was there probably for what? Until... Up until last year, was she yeah, last not, year? Yeah, not too long. Last year, I believe. Because she was um, gone for like a year or two, and then she like came back. And um, then, yeah, then she just recently... Up to last year, I believe, was, was her final year, or two years ago. So they've... And then they've added um, the main, the the main, the hanging, which is kind of like if you look mm-hmm. at old shows, which you can find um, old shows of mm-hmm. Bill and Ted from Halloween Horror Nights. This is like their version of that. You can find versions of this mm-hmm. too. And where that they started actually in like seventy eight. Oh wow! The hanging. So the hanging's been one of their mainstay shows since pretty close to the beginning. Um, it's crazy. It's interesting that the hanging continues to this day, where Bill and Ted, um, <laughs> you know, PR and then marketing issues brought that show down on both coasts. But the hanging uh, remains. I remember the first year without Bill and Ted, we went to Knott's Berry Farm, and the hanging actually made fun of the mm-hmm. fact that there was no Bill and Ted at Halloween Horror Nights. Oh yeah. So getting into it. What we're going to do is we're going to make our way uh, progressively through 73 to like mid-90s on this Mm -hmm. show and then try to get to when we first started going to Not Scary Farm on the next show. Mm -hmm. Um, So in 73, they had the Monster Maze. Now, keep in mind, we're not going to know a whole lot about what any of these are. Yeah. Because I'm there's pretty no... sure it wasn't even a real maze. Like, yeah. I don't think it was a haunt at all because I don't think those happened for quite um, a while. There, you know, obviously there was no YouTube and yeah. you had to have your video camera plugged into a VCR, plugged into the wall, <laughs> uh, unless you had a heavy duty like news camera at the time of 73. But they came out their first year in 73. They had the Monster Maze. Satan Sawmill, which I would imagine was the flume. Yeah. And the Ghostway Express, which I would imagine is the mine train. Mm-hmm. And their scare zone was Ghost Town. Yep. Out of all the scare zones that they do, it, Ghost Town... There's one thing I'll say about Knots, and it's not like Halloween Horror Nights scare zones are anything to really rave and rant about. Yeah. But... Knott's Ghost Town Scare Zone gets a whole lot of love compared to the rest of their scare zones. Mm-hmm. Like, they're they're popping in the fog a lot. Yeah. Those characters well, are dressed up a lot. Like they're, It's nicknamed Fog Alley. I mean, you can't see anything when you walk down there. Yeah. You, don't, you don't even see other people that are talking walking towards mm-hmm. you when you're walking in, in yeah. Fog Alley. Like, well, and the, and the big difference is, too, is because... That scare zone takes place in their ghost town, which is already dark as it is. It's got the old western facades. It's just, it's already creepy. So mm-hmm. just pumping in fog and adding some lighting, mm-hmm. they got the perfect atmosphere already. Um, compared to like Camp Snoopy. <laughs> right. <laughs> They still drill you the shit out of you in Camp yeah. Snoopy. No, just recently, all the other scare zones have stepped it up. And it wasn't until, I think it was like two years ago or something, one of the other scare zones was actually better than Ghost Town. What was it? One, it was the Hollow. Hmm. It was it was awesome. The Hollow nailed me. That one... I, I had people come out of nowhere and just yeah. drill me. Yeah, the whole scare zone was just built on, like, the Headless Horseman and Sleepy Hollow theme. But, but uh, it was deeper than that. Their theming <laughs> on point is amazing, just alone. I mean, you have the boardwalk, which is its own entity, and they now have mm. spread in, you know, their clowns and, and stuff at the boardwalk. And just the playfulness that they have and... 
you know, and I don't do clowns. If you don't know this yet on this podcast, I don't do anything clown. <laughs> Um, but their playfulness and their banter and the freedom that they have within the boardwalk and, you know, just the theming in their areas, mm-hmm. they've, they've done really well. And that's one yeah. thing that Knott's has going for them is that when they put something in, it's themed specifically to that area. And nine times out of ten, oh, excuse me, guys, nine times out of ten, it's pretty spot on. We had one fluke last year. Um, that was their brand new scare zone. Brand new scare zone. Still needed some work. It but was, yeah, it was all people who was, the, it was their first time ever doing it from what we ended up finding out. And so it, you could definitely tell because it was like the, the random stepchild of the bunch. So it was, uh, wasn't up to par yet with everything else. Yeah. But yeah. Um, so in 74, they're. Mazes almost double, so they bring back, or they have the haunted shack, the devil's Which was log just ride. An attraction there. Oh, was it? Yeah, it's okay. it was it's a normal just walk through thing. It's gone now, but um, the devil's log ride, Calico Phantom Mine Ride, mm-hmm. Transylvania Railroad, and Stagecoach through the through Wolfman Country. So those are all mostly, it's you would wager, attractions, attractions yeah. haunted attractions. And then Ghost Town again as a scare zone. 75, they go to Terror, Terror Mountain. And then Not Scary Tales, which as a bonus treat, that's going to be our way back at the end of this episode. Because I have procured a video of Not Scary Tales. Oh, nice. nice. Um, <laughs> so Trail of the Tortured, Haunted Mine... Transylvania Railroad, Trail of the Headless Horseman. Mm-hmm. Um, this one, though, they add two scare zones. They have the Gory 20s and Fiesta Day Friends. Yay, it's so good that I don't think it Fiesta lasted another fiends. year. <laughs> oh, Fiends. Shit, sorry. Um, Fiesta Day Fiends. Yeah. Something um, else I want to point out about this year, because this is 75, right? Mm-hmm. So in this same year was when... Because the whole event started with... Um, uh, with the Fright Night host, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of his name right now. Um, he was the he was like a late night host. Um, it should be on there. Start with an S. But anyways, he was like kind of the whole reason why the whole event started. They built their brand new theater, the Schultz Theater or whatever, and so Seymour. Seymour is his name. It was Seymour or something. And he was the host of the show, and so they brought him in, and they kind of built the show around just playing old horror movies, and he would bash them the whole time. Like, that's basically what his show was. And um, in 74, he actually ended up having cancer. And even Mm -hmm. while going through the treatments, he still would go to Not Scary Farm to go put on the show. Sinister Seymour. Because that was still driving him to, like, get up and do that. And then um, he ended up passing away. So in 75, they ended up getting, I believe, Wolfman Jack. And Hmm. so he took over and started doing the show. So that helped kind of be their, like, main celeb to get people there to the park and stuff. But, so yeah. 76, we see the Trail of the Tortured, Terror Mountain, Haunted Mine, Trail of the Headless Horseman... Not Scary Tales, Transylvania Express, Gasoline Alley, through Sleepy Hollow. And we have Ghost Town. So they went back to just one scare zone after the gory 20s and Fiesta yeah. de Fiends. They probably found out that those weren't very good. But they added <laughs> Dead Man's Hanging in Which 76. Is, so that was the start of the show. The start of the hanging. Um... In, oh, okay, so in 77, they have 10 Chilling Chambers, which is the first standalone walk-through maze. So in 77 is when they started it. Yeah. Wow, that's still a long time. Um, <laughs> then Terror Mountain, Haunted Mine, Gasoline Alley, Transylvania Express, The Stagecoach, Witch's Twist, Bump the Ghoul, Not Scary Tales... Ghost Town and the Hanging are back. 
Um, in 78, they go... 78, they're... They minimize everything. Yeah, their event is very minimalistic. Mm-hmm. They probably start um, taking away some of the stuff from the rides. Um, the Trail of Terror, Terror Mountain, Haunted Mind, and Scary Tales with Ghost Town as the one... Uh, Scare Zone. Mm -hmm. 79, they have the Chilling Chamber of Horrors, Black Bart's Trail of Terror, and everything else has been there before. So total five attractions and Ghost Town and a show called Monster's Revenge. Um, Then going into 80, they have a Tomb of Terror, Dr... Alucord's Chamber of Horrors, Terror Mountain, Haunted Mine, Not Scary Tales. So Not Scary Tales is prominent in this thing mm-hmm. in the first 10 years or so. Ghost oh, Town. Was it, was it like one of the little shows or something? It's or? a dark ride. Oh. Um, then they have the Ghost Town and the Midnight Witch Hanging, which was different than the Hanging. Mm-hmm. Um, that was when they actually hung a witch. Uh, which do they still do that? Yeah, they still hang somebody. <laughs> no, but I remember a couple of times ago they had the hanging, the stage show, the pop culture show. Yeah. And then if you went back at like one a.m., they would actually hang the witch. No. Oh uh, no, that could have been during the time when they brought back the green witch as like the icon. And it could have been, it had to probably That's be when they her. did it, yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and now it's just the, it's just the pop culture show. Hmm. Yeah. Um, but even then, originally, when it was just the normal, like, hanging type of show, it wasn't even really a pop culture type of show. It was just they basically just hung a person. <laughs> That's what this witch one, the witch one... Yeah. It was, they brought her in, they brought her in on a wagon, and they went to hang her... And they do, it's very, like, pagan-esque. They mm-hmm. hang her, and when they go to hang her, she disappears, and she reappears on, like, the churro building. <laughs> That's like, <laughs> and then she's gone. Um, it's only, like, a ten-minute ordeal. Yeah. Um, in 82, they bring something that was really cool that, fast forward 30 years, I freaking love this maze, and that was... Uh, the Trail of Jack the Ripper. So this is the first time that you hear his name. And again, we'll get into all these um, in more detail when we get to the years that we actually attended. They had something, The Mysterious Corridors, Terror Mountain, Haunted Mine, Not Scary Tales again, (laughs) Um, Ghost Town and the Midnight Witch Hanging, um... (laughs) <laughs> Pretty soon the gauntlet scare zone should be getting added. Mm, not yet. 83, they have the Realm of Darkness is new, and then instead of the cord, the mysterious corridors, it's Corridors of Mystery, mm-hmm. Ghost Town and the Witch Hanging. Everything, so everything in the next 10 years, it's just Ghost Town and Witch Hanging. Um, <laughs> 84. Transylvania they, Taxi in 83. Oh, yeah, Transylvania Taxi. Um, Which was the year that I was born. 84, Caverns of Doom, The House of Red Death, Terror Mounted, and Haunted Mine. Um, Haunted Mine makes quite a few returns. Mm-hmm. Tell you what that is. Not scary. <laughs> so Not Scary Tales by 84 is done. No! Uh, scary Tales, its last appearance is 82. Um, I wonder if Not Scary Tales was the dinosaur dark ride oh, they had. Man. 85, we have House of Dune instead of Caverns of Doom, Creep House, Trail of the Doomed, they love that Doomed, Terror Mountain, Trail of Terror, Dragon's Caverns, and Sorcerer's Lair. Um, Mystical 86, Mystical Maze of Madness, The Best Little Horror House, I wonder if that's based on the best little whorehouse Mm -hmm. in Texas. Um, 
Convict's Haven, The Last Train to Terror, Nightmare Mountain, and The Dark Forest of the Sorcerer. They do a lot of, like, medieval shit. Yeah. Um, That's probably what helped fuel uh, the, one of the scare zones they eventually add. We're still at either the Midnight Witch Hanging or the Hanging show-wise and only Ghost Town scare zone-wise. Mm-hmm. 87, this is the 15th year now, Curse of the Finks, Kingdom of the Dinosaurs, which... That was the ride. I would be all about that. Um, Metro Madness, which is just driving L.A. on the freeway. Realm <laughs> of the Sorcerer, The Slaughterhouse, which sounds like that's a maze. Mm-hmm. Um... The Enemy Within, which sounds like a film with Denzel Washington. The Fourth Dimension and The Return of Zulu. 16th year in 88. Okay, these have got to be mazes. Bates Motel. Yes, Camp, that was a maze. Camp, mm-hmm. Camp Hatchet Head. Yep, that was a maze. Revenge of the Dead. The Dark Threshold of Doom. Toxic Terror and Uncle Ernie's Madhouse. Mm-hmm. I'm really surprised they're not adding more scare zones at this point. Like, yeah. 89 I base. Was, I think because for them, adding a scare zone takes takes a lot. Because the amount of people they try to make sure to like fill them with. Yeah. And then they even have more extras. Because you need to constantly be switching out your characters. I mean... I mean, even just recently when we went, we found out Ghost Town alone has a hundred something characters, right? Yeah. So I mean, just for one zone to have a hundred and something scares is like that's crazy. Yeah. So I mean, I can see why. In order to add another scare zone, you'd really have to make sure you have the people because, again, you you gotta. I mean, I know now that they do like a thirty minute in and 30 minute out rotation mm-hmm. so it's like I mean that's if you think about it, half the time you're going to have half the people out there so you know if you have 100 employees working a scare zone you're only going to have 50 out at a given time so and 80 nah, or 90 Bates Motel no no 89 oh, okay. 89, 89 was basically the same but they added in uh, terror Mountain, and they took out Toxic Terror. So they were sub- they added in Terror Mountain in replace of Toxic Terror. In ninety, they bring in a maze. I'm hoping, just called the Fear, along with Threshold of Doom, Terror Mountain, Revenge of the Dead, Uncle Ernie's Madhouse, and Timothy. L. Ernie Time Machine. And the Encounters of Darkness as well. Do you want to stop there? Uh, or keep going? So in all these names of all these attractions that are not mazes, I've only personally seen the log ride and the mine, the train. mine train. So Knott's used to have like a Shimmer rides that are able to transform then. Yeah, well, I know they they had the one which was Kingdom of Dinosaurs. I believe that was their time machine ride, and so they probably just incorporated that as part of one of the attractions. But because that didn't happen until not Scary Tales disappeared, mm-hmm. so I wonder if that was the location of not Scary Tales. Then once that was gone, they brought in the Kingdom uh... of Dinosaurs. Yeah, maybe that. And then Kingdom of the Dinosaurs is now gone. Um, <laughs> it's now replaced by the Iron Reef. So, 91, Bates Motel, Bates Motel, Bates Motel mm-hmm. Encounters of Darkness, Revenge of the Dead, Terror Mountain, The Body, All right. The Fear, <laughs> Threshold of Dune, and Uncle Ernie's Madhouse. Sounds like the clown maze that they probably had. Um, dude, Knott's did a clown maze like 
ten years ago where they had like cotton candy walls and shit. Uh, that, Uncle Bubba was big top of the yes, bazaar. That fucking blew my mind. <laughs> um, I love that maze. Their 20, 20 year reunion, nineteen ninety two. Kingdom of the Lounge Lizards, <laughs> Lair of the Vampire, Mother Nooses, get it, Scary Tales, Revenge of the Dead, Temple of Sacrifice, mm-hmm. Terror Mountain, Toxic Him, and Uncle Ernie's Madhouse. See, and I think Lair of, Lair of the Vampire is actually pretty well known because that one eventually becomes... Castle Vampire, or Vampire? No, it becomes a Dominion of the Dead. Which if you, I don't know if you might have gone announced, but it recently came back and it lasted about like two years. <laughs> is that but, where the Ghost Hunter one is now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I remember that yeah. one. That was like a big deal back in the 90s. With a that was a cool haunted house. Down. It was very cool. My it was buddy, a different take on vampires. My buddy Kevin fucking loved that house. He would not mm. shut up about it for the longest time. I felt like Club Blood was still better. Club Blood. We'll get into that when... Uh, <laughs> We get to Great America. Basically a blame. Um, <laughs> so they change it up in 93 quite a bit. Cool. They do. House of the Maniacs, Jaws of Death, Lair of the Vampire, Mother Noose, Nightmares, Santa Claus Mountain. Hell yes. If I could get in a time machine and do <laughs> one of these, I want to go on Santa Claus Mountain. Because mm. it's that fucking train ride and there's probably elves and Santas and all kinds of shit going on in that thing. Hell yeah. Temple of Sacrifice and Toxic Hem. Uh, 94, Carnival of Death, Cavern of Carnage, Ma- House of Maniacs, Industrial Evil, Lair of the Vampire, Mother Noose, Nightmares, Santa Claus's Mountain is back. I'm going to try to find a video of Santa Claus Mountain for next week. <laughs> Slasher of the Dark, and Toxic Him. Um, 95, Carnival of Death, Cavern of Carnage, Curse of the Werewolf, Dominion of the Dead, nice. Ghost Town, Dead and Breakfast? Yeah, like bed and breakfast, dead and breakfast. Oh, gotcha. Nice. Um, House of Maniacs, Industrial Evil, Nightmares, Santa Claus Mountain, Slasher Dark. And then, so then we get to 96, their 24th year of operation. And this is where we'll, we'll cut for, for this episode. But this is the year that if you go back and listen to the first episode of this show, uh, Halloween Horror Nights has their accident, which would then shut them down for a while. Um, so Camp, Gonna Get Ya, Carnival of Death, Curse of the Werewolf, Cavern of Carnage, Dominion of the Dead, Ghost Town, Dead and Breakfast, House of Maniacs, Kingdom of the Lounge Lizards, Nightmares, The Underground, Toon Territory, which actually I have a video of that I've too. I've seen that one. Um, Ghost Town and the Gauntlet now, um, which wasn't that like their big like fog area by Camp Snoopy? It, they never had fog really going in Camp Snoopy. It was always just Camp Snoopy. And they literally just threw the characters in there in their costumes and that was the scare zone. That's why, that's why, um, basically their a rivalry started between, in the park between the two scare zones and, uh, between ghost town and the gauntlet. Yeah. That's when a lot of stuff started happening. And, um, uh, basically surprisingly though, the gauntlet is what eventually brought in sliders. Hmm. Those were like the main guys that perfected the gear and everything. They started that in the gauntlet because they didn't have anything. They didn't have fog. They didn't have props to really hide behind. They got given a box of masks, old masks, yeah. for their costumes. And then they were told, bring street clothes, put these masks on, and figure something out. So, Damn. So they kind of got thrown in. And so basically trying to come up with new ways to scare people. Um, in Ghost Town, they had just been kind of just throwing their bodies at the ground. And doing, like, some baseball slides. Mm-hmm. But the gauntlet is where they started pulling... They started doing the pads. 
um, the metal gloves and really started to perfect it. And so basically what ended up happening is they took the good people from the gauntlet that were doing all this Mm -hmm. and brought them over into ghost town and all those guys right away they're like holy shit like huge difference (laughs) like what's interesting in in ghost town compared to the gauntlet it's interesting that it was 20 years uh 21 Mm -hmm. of just ghost town Mm-hmm. And then here comes the gauntlet. So I wonder if the ghost town crew had a chip on their shoulder. And, oh, yeah. And, oh, yes, uh, they easily did. <laughs> if you see any of the characters walking around, the people who have worked in those scare zones now, even the vets, they all have like hockey jerseys that say, you know, like ghost town or streets of ghost town mm-hmm. or camp Snoopy or, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and that is a badge of honor. You earn that. Yeah. And that is something that you have, and Cause, not just anybody gets those. Because the, the big difference is with knots is like, I'm sure at Universal, like getting to work in one of the mazes as a certain character is like, of that's course. like the high yeah. priority. It's like the holy there. grail. Um, right. Where knots, being a street monster, is considered the highest privilege. Specifically, being a street monster in Ghost Town is like the hardest thing to acquire. Because hmm. before you can even go into a scare zone, you have to work a year in a maze. And then before you can even slide, you need to be working in the scare zone for at least a year or two. I wonder if it's so. reversed because that's it's all original. Yeah, and, and for them, more people are going to experience the scare zones than they're going to experience the maze. Hmm. And so for them, you know... The experience you get from their scare zones to universals mm-hmm. is all the difference in the world because they allow their characters to so much more freedom. They can talk, they throw out their own dialogue, so, you know. So there's character that development, or development, character their development own. going on. Universals more like if you're working a scare zone there, they're like, "Here's this costume, get out there." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Not only that, but in more of the areas and knots where the scare zones are, you have to walk through them to get to attractions. Yeah. Where at Universal, they have a tendency of putting scare zones off in random areas that you don't necessarily have to go through. Like Holidays like in Hell French last Street. year. <laughs> yeah, French Street. Where Holidays in Hell last year was in the buildings and you had to take a detour to go through it mm-hmm. but you don't have to go through a scare they considered it a scare zone right. but you don't have to go <laughs> through it to experience it where knots makes you walk through the gauntlet knots makes you walk through ghost yeah. town because you have to get to attractions or get to mazes mm-hmm. in order to do so and yeah. so yeah. they really had to hone in their scare zone and their characters to give you that experience mm-hmm. Instead of, oh, you're just walking yeah. down Fog Alley. Like, well, and it's, it's funny how they perfected the scare zone because it literally started out where when the event started in 73, they were using their stunt um, actors mm-hmm. from like the, the stunt show. They were using just the stunt characters to be out there as the characters for the scare zone. And so it was all guys that, you know, just knew how to do this stuff. And it wasn't until, of course, everything happens by weird mistakes, you know? And so, in each of the buildings, uh, they would put in characters called Pekins. And basically, they're in the rooms, like, the if you get the barbershop facade or whatever, you could look in the building. They had some characters, well, one of them was a real person. And he would, like, pop up in front of the glass and scare the crap out of you. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, basically, what happened is one of them... They lost the key for the certain shop that he was supposed to be in for the night. And so basically they're like, well, we don't know what to do. So just, just scare people out in the scare zone. And so then the guy just went nuts and was like killing it out there to the point to where they're like the next night, there's no more Pekins. They had them all just out in the scare zone in ghost town, running around scaring people. So it just kind of evolved so when naturally. The, when the Pekin thing was happening, there was nobody on the street. There's the stunt actors and stuff were oh. out there. It was it was almost exclusive to being the stunt people. I, I don't know if that had something to do with just 
they possibly know how to fall fall and work their way around people or something. Yeah. And then, uh, but once they got somebody just cutting loose, they're kind of like, oh shit, this works. <laughs> so it was like, they yeah. just, you know, pull down the, the gates and let all of them run out there and, and it made like a huge difference. And that's what we have now is just, you know, it's flooded with so many characters now. Ghost Town, it's insane. And, um, I mean, they, when I say they perfected the scare zone, they really perfected scare zones. Um, so the thing that's interesting too, is this is the, like we said, the year of the hiatus for Halloween Horror Nights, Mm -hmm. their shows go from one to seven at Knott's Berry Farm with Cyber Insanity, Day of the Dead Procession, which is something that they used to do at Halloween Horror Nights, Florida. They had a Day of the Dead, um, or the Festival of the Dead, or something of the Dead parade. Yeah. And it was like a parade with all their, the icon or whatever. Yeah. Um, they probably did that in the Fiesta Village at Knott's. Dead Monsters Rock, which sounds <laughs> like a version of the Beetlejuice show from Universal Florida again. Um, Dr. Cleaver for president, because that was a year of an election. Um, Laser Monster Madness, the Daily or the Deadly Dating Game, and then the Hanging. So it grows. Wasn't there the Chucky's Bride? Or the thing? D- the Chucky's Wedding Chapel? Yeah. So I wonder if that was literally that show. I mean, might have been. Because I, I seriously think when they shut down Universal, all these people probably not to probably open the door for all of them was like, just keep the same show. We're gonna change your costume. Like, yeah, and we're gonna change the title. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's, I would not be surprised. I mean, you got when Disney, similarities when Disney shut down um, the show. The they, Aladdin show. Well, that and the Frontierland show. Oh, uh, Billy Hill. They all went to knots. Now we they're just like saw Kirk, them in our honeymoon. Now yeah. they're like crazy Kirk crazy or something Kirk like that. Billies. Yep. And he's he's in the exact same costume. Yeah, and like he looks, ex- it, he looks it, exactly the same. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's the same act. Just. So I wouldn't be surprised at all yeah. if they uh, if they did something like that for their uh, scary stuff. The so here is the watch along, which as long as we got footage of these things from each of the parks we're talking about, we will always oh, we will always do one of these. Tales. So here we're gonna talk you through not scary tales. Um, so, we're in a car and we're moving through a cavern that it's got like some toxic waste looking stuff going on. But they cover up all the stuff and they just put, oh it, yeah, this is, this is the time machine ride. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't know if she's real or not. There's like a, a chick waving a hand that looks fake, but it could be real. There's a disco ball in this room. <laughs> I love that they just cover up. Yeah, there's like nets process. over everything in this cavern. Oh my gosh. So this would be where the dinosaurs were. They're just all covered up. Oh yeah, crazy crack. Um, now they're moving through a jungle. What the hell is that? Is that a person? Like a witch. Yeah, a yeah, but its face is all mangled. It's got like a scepter, but... Yeah. Looks, Looks like, like a demon. Yeah. Looks like caveman was there. They threw something over it. I was me. That guy's real. There's a wolf. Little ba 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 Okay. He's with his shaker can. Yeah. Which is effective. This guy's got like... <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. the, now, amount, the amount of stuff they cover up those is insane. Now we're at a castle. Spooky spider. <laughs> Very stranger uh, things... Ask music playing in the background. This is like... Oh, that guy... 
What the hell was that? Yeah, pantyhose. <laughs> he just, he's all blacked out with pantyhose over his head. Yeah. Um, you're not, there's a ninja. You're not supposed to apparently have the camera light on. It ruins the effect. <laughs> It's like some starfish, a skeleton yeah. on a zip line, a giant, oh, more spiders, and giant spider, yeah. Wow. Damn, this is intense. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why this ride doesn't exist anymore. There's a skull with skull faces. Mm-hmm. They're moving past it now. Skull Island. Um, I, some ghosts. I think this could be a lot better these days. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean... This attraction itself. I, mean, I, I don't know if this was the dinosaur ride prior. It's probably fair as to why there's no one in the car in front of the person <laughs> who videotaped this. It's probably um, like a some cavern. So now we're in a bunch of skeletons and coffins and skull like rock the layer. Mm, more stuff covered. Ha. I don't know how this is not s- scary tales, though. Yeah. No. I think it's just let's make like a, a haunted house dark ride and have some characters. In is that goofy? Or is it's it a, a wolf? Rat. I think it's a wolf. It looks like a giant rat. It kind of looked like Shredder. Or not Shredder. Yeah, not Shredder. It's like a lady leather face looking lady, and now there's like a lizard man. I think that's the lounge lizard. Huh. I think they might have taken a character from every maze and and thrown them in here. here, And that's that's the incorporation. And there's a witch, which that mask is is fairly terrifying. Mm -hmm. Good effort by the character. (laughs) This is a long ride. I was going to say, <laughs> if anything, it's long. It's purple like people eater. It's like Merlin with some stars on his head. It's a purple people eater. Oh, is that what it is? Bunch of head on, heads on pikes. Mm. And so that's... 1980s mine ride. And so there was not Scary Tales... And that is our part one of right. Knott's Berry Farms history. So we will do part two of Knott's Berry Farms history mm-hmm. uh, next week, as this is our companion show for Campfire Chronicles up yes. until the, the point where John uh, starts. How did it feel to knock all those walls down? Click. <laughs> He's already Except rebuilding. Me definitely uh it goes by very quickly to dismantle uh already in the rebuilding stage and i always forget how long that portion takes because trying to do everything right set it up is a long process i've already taken a few walls down that i'd set up just to put them back up because things didn't line up just right so taking my time this year was set up but uh, all in all, it should uh, it, it'll definitely pay off in the end. Right on. That'll be another a check-in process on this show as John, the John build update <laughs> to close yeah. each each of these yeah. shows. Right now, the walls right. the walls are down. I repeat, the walls are down. Mm-hmm. The um, first maze is actually halfway built already. Oh damn! And what is that? Well, I'm not gonna say it right now. Okay. And I just sit here and roll my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley's the don't take, don't be a fucking moron at the Higby Horror Haunt before you go through it or <laughs> while you're going through it because Ashley will bust the masks. That's, uh, could be potentially the scariest part of the whole, of the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, someone has to do the dirty work and someone has to be the mean pants. And yeah. yeah, we gotta scare everyone straight before they even come in. Yeah. <laughs> MTV, scared straight, big B style. Um, definitely worked for a trio of kids I know that uh, a Higby volunteer has. Yeah. It's worked out pretty good, so. <laughs> Right, anyway, we'll continue. Uh, we'll continue uh, the rest of the nonce history. We'll be able to uh, 
check out a couple of videos next week's because those uh, mazes are you can find. Um, so we may look at uh, try to find Santa which, Claus Mountain. Which it's crazy to think that people were getting footage of these that, mazes. I'm super surprised. But we can't find anything on Universal from that day forward. Dude, yeah, I just want to see a video of that Undertaker house. Yeah, because that was in like 2000 something, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 2001. And, and, and we're getting footage of 1980s stuff at night. <laughs> yeah, like, that's, <laughs> yeah. I, I would be. We're so happy <laughs> to be able to see what that Undertaker house was. But I guess that just goes to show that people were, or they'd already gained a fan base to the point to where they were starting to just, you know, either record it because they wanted to, or, or maybe it's because Knox was actually letting people film, and maybe Universal wasn't. Could it be the that could be the other option at the time? I will say Universal is weird about filming. Very weird about filming. Because there's years that they crack down on it hardcore, and there's years that yeah. they let everybody go. Like, two years ago, and now this is just... I know John mentioned last week, or two weeks ago, when we were coming home from Sinister before we got into the groove of this season of this, that YouTube, as far as being able to see haunts from out of state and stuff especially Halloween Horror Nights in Florida, mm -hmm. is your best friend if you want to get an idea of what those mazes were like in comparison yeah. to Hollywood, especially. And Orlando has gone through years where they don't allow any filming. Yeah. Last year, they like said, film whatever you want, because there's full walkthroughs. Yeah, there's involved tons in of videos. Um, yeah, there's a couple of years where... You can't find any. mazes, and I was like, oh, I want to see how that one goes over there, and I couldn't find anything. Yeah. And that's when um, I did find out. But anyway, next week crap, we will walk through apparently of the Undertaker. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> um, we okay, might to, we might have to talk about this next week. But yeah. we're definitely watching that tonight. That'll be a uh, a special <laughs> mention on the the haunt history next week. Right. Um, but yeah, we'll finish up mm -hmm. up until the point where we started going to knots next week, mm -hmm. and then we will move into. Uh, Another version of Knots, um, which was Great America, yeah. um, which wasn't at the time, but is now owned by the same company as Knots. So, thank you. They for were bought in 97 mm. by Cedar Fair. I'll have to check that out. Because I know we went in 08. Well, maybe. I'll double into that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you for listening. Yeah. Glad you had a good 4th of July. Higby Horror Haunt on Facebook. Uh, look up to uh, see John. If you follow John on Instagram, Higby Horror Haunt, um, you can see pictures of what we were talking about, him ripping the walls down, and you can kind of get an idea of what it looked like before he did that, too. Mm -hmm. um, the process of, like, each room. Also, if you follow <laughs> our Heathen Legion sliders, you can see some of the stuff that they're doing and getting prepared for for season as well. Mm -hmm. So, So, like I said, we'll always track that progress as we go along this season as well leading up to haunt season see you next week bye guys bye.